Today's class is uh, going to start from a number of molecules that we've drawn. They're, they're um, obtained from Pine, Hendrickson, Cram, and Hammond, the nomenclature practice, section 227 of the book. So we've drawn the molecules, and I'll show you how I would typically mark a quiz where you have to name it. Um, this molecule, the longest chain is seven carbons long. <clears throat> it's got a ketone group in it, and it has a chlorine substituent and a methyl substituent and another methyl substituent. Notice how I started the numbering here. Even though the chain wasn't straight, I recognized the longest chain. So I would have been temp it's tempting to start here because it's a straight chain, but sometimes you have to go around the corner to find the longest chain, as it were. So this is called 5-chloro. 3,6-dimethyl, there's two methyls, so we put di in front of it, and 4-heptan, 7-carbon chain long, own. You see I put a red arrow under each one of the uh, words that I would be looking for if I was marking it. So this question would be worth, if you answered this correctly, it would be worth 2, 4, 6, 8, 9 marks. B is a benzene ring with, uh, sub with substituents. The most important substituent on there is the hydroxyl group followed by the amino group and then followed by the ethyl group. So we call this 3-amino, 5-ethyl phenol because phenol is a trivial name for benzene with a hydroxy on it. If you don't want to use the trivial name, then you would call it 3-amino, 5-ethyl, 1-hydroxybenzene. C is an amino acid if you recognize the structure. It has an R group, there's a carboxylic acid moiety in the amino group. Um, so we could call this the longest chain being five carbons long, uh, two amino, four, four dimethyl, pentanoic, because it's five long, acid. In this one we have a heptanal, it's an aldehyde, uh, with a methyl group and an ethyl group on it, and then the ethyl group itself is substituted. So this one we open a bracket, and we show that it's 1-hydroxy substituted ethyl. So we say 3, say where that substituent is on the main chain, open bracket, 1-hydroxy ethyl, 5-methyl heptanal. This is a cyclopentane that's been substituted with a ketone, an ethyl group, and a bromine. The most important group is the ketone. So we number it this way. Uh, halides are more important than uh, alkyl groups, so it's 3-bromo-5-ethyl-cyclopentan-one to show that it's a ketone. This is a cyclohexene. Now, first there was some controversy about which way we should go to numbering because amino groups are usually higher than uh, alkenes, but when, I guess when you have a chain, uh, the, the, the double bond takes the lowest priority possible. So we call this, we numbered it this way. Uh, comes out to be 5-amino, 2-methyl, two 2-cyclohexen, two because of the double bond. And this tells you the position of the double bond, ohm, ketone. G, we have an, um, an amine and an aldehyde. Aldehyde is higher priority, so we name it as an aldehyde, that is uh, four carbons long, and then there's an amino group with an ethyl group attached to it. So it ends up being called 2-ethyl, two 2-methyl, two Four, because the fourth carbon has an amino group, and the amino group is ethyl substituted, it's substituted so it's N ethyl, four N ethyl amino, butan al. This one is a seven carbon chain with a hydroxy group at the fourth position, a methyl group at the fifth position, a double bond at the second position, a triple bond at the sixth position, that's why we have six ion and oil to show that it's an acyl chloride. And then it's a chloride to show that that is the chlorine. So 4 hydroxy 5 methyl 2 heptan 6 oil chloride. This is an, a, a, an amide. You see a carbonyl next to an amine group. And it's got uh, an ethyl group at the third position. Notice that the chain is not drawn straight in this one. So the longest chain is this way. 5 carbons long with a hydroxy group on the end. There's a hydroxy at the third position and at the fifth position, so we call this 3-ethyl, 3, 5-dihydroxy, three, pentan, 
Long's chain, n times a mic. J is also a pentan a mic, except now it's substituted with a chloro and a methyl at the third position. Sorry, an ethyl at the nitrogen that is attached to the amide, a chlorine at the third position, and a methyl at the third position. So we call it 3-chloro, N-ethyl, 3-methyl, n amide Notice how we alphabetized the substituent. K is an amide with a double bond in it at the fourth position, and a hydroxyl group at the third, so we call it 3-hydroxy, 4-methyl. Here's the methyl group at the fourth position. Four, that indicates the, the position of the double bond, and pent N, the EN, indicates there is a double bond. Al shows that it's an aldehyde, and pent N means that the longest chain is five. This is a 10 carbon chain with methyl groups at the third, at the ninth, the sixth, and the third position, double bonds at the second, fourth, sixth, and eighth position. So we call it a decanoic acid, but with the tetraene put in the middle of the word to show that there are four double bonds in it, and these numbers apply to where the double bonds are appearing. So we call this 369 trimethyl, 2468 decatetraenoic acid. Quite a mouthful. Number, uh, letter M. The longest carbon chain is four, methyl group at the third position. It's a ketone. You can name it a couple of ways. Uh, we, can get, we can name all the way through and then state the position of the ketone group, the carbonyl group, so we say three methyl. 2, to show where the position of the carbonyl is, butanone, or we can name it uh, with three separate words, isopropyl, methyl, ketone. N is a hexine, longest carbon chain is 6, triple bond in second position with a methyl group of 4, so we say 4-methyl, 2-hexine. O, the longest chain is 6, so there's a phenyl group at the third position. When we see C6H5, we assume a benzene ring. It looks like this. It's a benzene ring with a pendant bond. So it's a benzene ring attached to something. So that's a phenyl. Uh, there's a methyl group in the fifth position. 5-methyl, 3-phenyl, 2-hexan, all. The 2 indicates the position of the hydroxy group. P is an ether. Two groups attached to an oxygen. A uh, benzene ring with another elbow and then a pendant bond is called benzyl. It's a trivial name attributed to a benzene with an extra methyl group attached to it and, and then a pendant bond. And this is ethyl, so we can call this benzyl ethyl ether. Or we could count it all the way through uh, and call this, this the first position. Count this as though it were a carbon, so we call it a, but a butane, but with a 2 oxo at the second position, indicating the ether oxygen and it's one phenyl substitute. So one phenyl to oxybutane is another name for this compound. Uh, Q, we have a five carbon chain with a carboxylic acid on one end and an aldehyde on the other. When aldehydes are uh, substituents, we use the word oxo, the prefix oxo. So this is five oxo pentanoic acid. It's the same prefix, by the way, also for ketones. Ketones and aldehydes both have the same prefix because aldehydes have to be at the terminal position, there's only one place that aldehyde can be, so they don't, they don't distinguish between the two. If we were to have an extra methyl group, we would then say 5-oxohexanoic acid, and we would know that this is a ketone. R is an amine, that is, uh, if you look along this chain, 1, 2, 3, 4, there's a methyl group two methyl groups in the third position and a methyl group on the end, so we say N33 trimethyl butan amine. This is a um, substituted cyclopropane. If there was no chlorine here, we'd call it methyl cyclopropane, but because there is a chlorine on the methyl part, we call it chloromethyl cyclopropane. Uh, this is a substituted toluene. Call that 4 chlorotoluene, or you could also say para chlorotoluene. The, the, book and, uh, the book's answer is 1 chloro 4 methyl benzene. You'd notice that they named it systematically like an IUPAC um, substance. And when you follow the IUPAC rule stringently, the halides have a higher priority than al alkyl groups. 
but it's okay to use trivial names if they're widely recognized. And methylbenzene is widely known as toluene, so I, I much prefer to call it four chlorotoluene. Although no, this is perfectly correct as well. In U, we have a vinyl group on, and a chlorine on a benzene ring. So we would call it 1-chloro-4-vinylbenzene, or you could also call it 1-chloro-4-ethanyl-benzene. I don't know what the trivial name for vinyl benzene is, but if I did know it, I would use it. And I would call it the para-chloro, whatever the trivial name was. I'm sure it exists. Uh, for B, we have a cyclopentane with a ketone and an isobutyl group on it, so we call it 2-isobutyl cyclopentanol. It's molecular, it looks like a stop sign. It's an uh, octadiene, substituted at the first, uh, not substituted, but with double bonds at the first and fourth position. So we say 1,4-cyclooctadiene. This is an ethanoic acid with a cyclobutyl group at the second carbon, so we call it 2-cyclobutyl ethanoic acid. Actually, you can probably dispense with the 2 because um, if you were to put it at the first position, then it would be called cyclobutane uh, carboxylic acid. Y is uh, 6 carbons long in the longest chain with a 3 chloral substituent, a methyl substituent, and a double bond at the fourth position. So we call it 3 chloro, 5 methyl, 4 hexen. Oic acid. In the last example, uh, we have a molecule, it's an ester with a methyl substituent and a chlorine substituent on the main chain, so we call it methyl 3 chloro butanoate. 